Keep on adding branches to the family tree That we spouted up from the soul sea And that's the reason why our roots grow deep Our roots grow deep, yeah Keep on adding branches to the family tree That we spit it out from the soul sea And that's the reason why our roots run deep Our roots run deep, yeah Plant a seed in the dirt Sun will shine as we were to let it grow strong, to help it grow. But we can't do this on our own, so we need help and so family to let it grow strong, to help it grow. Shoot. St. Louis Marina. Guys, we're finally here. Oh my goodness. It's taken us, uh, I don't even know how long, and blood, sweat, a lot of tears to get here. And, uh, but finally doing it guys. We're sailing! <laughs> yes we are. At seven to eight knots. Uh, right now seven knots. Uh, we're seven over ground. Uh, right off the beam. This is everything you could ask for. This Bayfield 32 C is sailing. So, so good right now. This is just amazing. It's a wonderful feeling. We are still in the Mississippi Sound. So after a little mishap, um, we got all that running and we been uh, taking the last few hours to just really get back in the swing of things. Um, it has been a, a couple of years since we've been on the hard boat uh, using it, so, um, but I think we're getting back in the swing of things pretty quickly. And it's insane right now. It's sandwiches for dinner uh, we're in a pretty rolly situation so I just figured it was the easiest thing to heat up real quick and they were right on top of the fridge and I didn't have to dig too far so um, but we have just so everybody knows we were um, before we left Island Marina every single person there made sure we had a package of food to take with us so we didn't have to cook this whole time so I apologize because I'm cooking but I'm gonna eat all that other stuff tomorrow and the next day and the next day Bobby you ready for egg sandwich egg sandwich Did you say egg sandwich yes egg sandwich look at that sunset guys Wow egg sandwiches and sunsets yeah. Cooking in the kitchen underway. Woo! I'm strapped in and I'm cooking. Strapped in and cooking. And thank goodness for a gimbaled stove because this thing is amazing. It just floats with the waves. Yeah. <laughs> 
so that way you're always level. It's a good indicator of how healed over you are, that's for sure. So, anyway. What? <laughs> I'll use your plate then. I'll use this plate. This sounds good because I still got to cook mine. Oh, check out this sunset. I mean, our average speed today has probably been about, I mean, overall for the 24 hour period, probably about 5.5 knots. Yeah, that's right. um, because, you know, of course our, our low was probably about four and yeah. our high was eight. I, I seen seven nine this morning. This whole trip has been so rocky and rolly. Like these waves are we were having 25 rolly. It's fun, but it'll wear your ass out. Uh, yes. And oh, we realized that we love uh, uh, Port St. Joe, yeah, and sure. like that whole little island Man, is really, really, really cool looking. Like, definitely, highly suggest you check it out. If you're cruising the Gulf Coast, yeah, that's absolutely a must. If you ask me. 30 feet deep, 17 to 30 feet deep throughout the whole bay. You know, there's plenty of places to go up and anchor. Um, the fuel right to the Gulf. I mean, five miles. Yeah, and it's it, it was perfect. I loved it. I thought it was yes. really cool. I wish we could have stayed longer than four or five hours. Um, <laughs> and considering we still, I hate to admit it, but we still cannot figure out our autopilot. Okay. It is the most ridiculous thing. I, I have the manual. I've read it. I've done all the little buttons and the things to calibrate. And look, it's either too rough look, or not when we're trying to do it, or um, there's or there's factors. just something yeah. wrong with it. Because um, it, if anybody knows how to work um, a Raymarine Auto Helm 3000. ST3000, then please, please drop them in the comments it's below bad, because, bad. or hit me up on Facebook because holy um, moly, it's really frustrating at this point. When we get in, we're going to call Ray yeah, Marie. Have a yeah. yeah. Um, you know, we have all these new B&G electronics, so I think we're just going to go ahead and switch it over to the B&G autopilot when, um, when we have the, the moolah to do it. What are you doing? What's that crazy cat doing? What you doing, Sosa? temporary sale we got a new sale being made um, in maybe August I think and we got this off a boat that was as sank that uh, our cousin had bought it was a Bayfield 32c like this one uh, I think my sale is a little longer <laughs> but it's working for now until we can get our new sale uh, we have one more our, our, our old main had some rips in it the small ones but it was getting a little dry rotted so uh, we're gonna patch it and put it back on here uh, and just use this for a backup it literally looks like uh somebody used it for toilet paper so see 
Yeah. Joyful tears I cry. I love you. stanchions I mean every single thing on this boat has a layer just a thick layer of salt on them so yeah everything's gonna be washed pretty sure we used maybe 10 gallons of fuel maybe by the time we get there maybe we have used 10 gallons of fuel since we left Avalanche Cola which is pretty good um yeah that's pretty good. What is that, 30 bucks? Okay. Okay. $30 for the fuel. Oh. It cost me 200 in fuel in, in a car. Or at least 150 to get to Clearwater from New Orleans. Cola, we got there in a day and a half, man. That is absolutely uh, getting it. Yeah, getting it. So, um, we're from Apalachicola to here. We're making about the same time. Um, really getting it. So, and all in all, it's going to be what, three and a half days? Uh, from New Orleans to Clearwater, three and a half days. That's, that's that is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, at times it got pretty rough. Uh, uh, six, seven footers. Um, and then a couple times we, like coming through that pass in Apalachicola, uh, there was literally eight tens coming on, you know, that big set that rolls in. And um, the wind was blowing 27 knots coming out of that pass and six footers, seven footers, and then occasionally these eight and tens would come. Just scared the, scared the shit out of me, for real. <laughs> if your soul loves the sun, Grandma and Papa! <laughs> 
72 hours later. Hey guys, we just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and we really, really appreciate it. As always, a huge shout out goes out to our musicians. Uh, we have Sugar Shack Sessions, we have Koof Knots and Christina Lease and Soul Seed. And again, thank you so much for letting us use your music. If you haven't went and ch uh, checked them out yet, please do so. Um, they uh, would love your support and they're fantastic musicians and artists, man. We really, mm -hmm. we really dig their music. So go check it Links out. Links down below. Yeah. And look, look guys, go subscribe to our channel. Um, it's that little red button right down there you just click that sucker it doesn't cost you anything uh help us out we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers uh the first thousand are the hardest so uh, help us get there um may take us a little time but uh we in it for the long haul so yeah. yep deuces please thank you yeah. so <laughs> if anybody lives on a boat with anybody else then you know what i'm Especially talking about docking this up <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I think that that would just be us, babe. We're those ones that yell at each other as we're approaching the dock. Because I don't think he can hear me. So I scream at him like this. And then he screams back at me. Look, I already know what she's going to say. You're coming in too fast. Every time. <laughs> so, it's, you're coming in hot, babe. You're coming in hot. <laughs> um, that's what Look, it is. I took my docking message. Oh my god, he did. He did. Rubber bumper thingies. The rubber <laughs> bumper thingies. What are the rubber bumper thingies? Pieces and lovers.